Welcome back to Auto Hell, the channel that fearlessly uncovers the truth about cars. Today we're putting the spotlight on the BMW X1 2023 and its not-so-impressive aspects. Join us as we expose the flaws that may have gone unnoticed. Hello, Auto Hell enthusiasts. We're here to discuss the bad sides of the BMW X1. Let's dive right in and take a closer look at its drawbacks. One, powertrain. While the everyday drivability is okay, the X1 falls short in terms of power, especially when compared to its competitors. It is the least powerful car in its class and even lags behind models a class or two below it. The difference becomes quite perceptible when compared to the likes of the GLA. You'll often find yourself relying on the boost function for high-speed overtakes. Additionally, the drive modes don't make a significant difference and the shifts aren't as smooth as one would expect. Two, touchscreen dependency. The BMW X1 requires you to operate everything, including the air conditioning and drive mode selection, solely through the touchscreen. This heavy reliance on touch controls can be unintuitive and frustrating. For instance, turning off the idle start-stop feature requires navigating through menus every single time you drive the car. Three, visible signs of cost cutting. Some visible signs of cost cutting are evident in the X1. For example, the front cup holders feel cheap compared to their international counterparts. Additionally, features like pull tabs to recline and fold the rear seats may not provide the level of convenience one would expect. Four, voice control inconsistency. The voice control feature of the X1 can be hit or miss, lacking the desired reliability and accuracy. Five, limited engine and transmission options. The X1 offers limited choices when it comes to engine and transmission options which reduces the scope for customization and personalization. Six, poor fuel economy. The petrol engine variant of the X1 may disappoint in terms of fuel efficiency. With an EPA estimate of 28 mpg in combined city and highway driving, it falls in line with average numbers for an extra-small luxury SUV. In our real-world testing, the X1 managed 27.1 mpg combined, which is decent but not outstanding compared to some competitors. Seven, stiff ride quality. Some drivers might find the ride of the X1 to be too stiff, lacking the desired comfort and smoothness expected from a luxury SUV. Eight, digital integration of AC controls. The interior of the X1 lacks physical buttons to control the AC system. Instead, the functions are digitally integrated into the large curved display, following BMW's trend with iDrive 8. While it may be the direction BMW is heading towards, 
It may not be ideal for those that concludes our exploration of the dark sides of the BMW X1 2023. Remember, every car has its pros and cons, and it's important to weigh them based on your preferences and priorities. Stay tuned to Auto Hell for more in-depth automotive analysis and reviews. Drive safe and be careful. See you until next video.